Welcome back to the gun channel. My name is Mike. Today's video is going to be about a local company I found at the last tactical game skirmish I covered and I met a gentleman named Mike who is the owner of Zulu Ops. You can find him online at ZuluOpsTac.com. Mike's a retired special forces guy that saw a couple of things that were silly to him and he wanted to make a better product. He's got a couple of bags that are uniquely made to carry your ammo as well as like a general purpose bag you might use for a cleaning kit which is pretty cool. Uh, a rifle sling or SBR sling that's minimalist design and he's got like an arm brace strap to go with that for matching purposes or just to look dope as f And some other simple stuff I threw in the cart, um, some swag, as well as a device to put on your battle belt to hang your gloves on. This video is made possible by evokestudio.io. So if you need any photo or video production needs, uh, check out www.evokestudio.io and uh, hire us if you need us. We'll do a good job for you. The first bag that I threw in my cart was this three-part bag designed for carrying ammo. Mike told me that his main vision on this was, was a couple of things, but one of them was to have the ability to have an ammo bag that's not screaming tactical or screaming guns, right? Having said that, I still ordered one with camo on it because I want to look tactical as fuck. But he has, there's other patterns and, and other really fun colors on his website that you can order. It makes it more, look more like a toiletry bag, if that makes any sense. But anyway, they're really well made. Um, so, but going into this bag, it's got a main uh, compartment bag and it's got two smaller bags inside of it. And so you can have um, you can have two different kinds of ammo. I'd say you could fit easily 350 rounds of 5.56 on one side, and three to 500 rounds of nine millimeter in the other small bag. Plenty of room if you want to just throw boxes of ammo in there, as well as you know a blue your little uh, magazine loader tool can fit in there quite easily along with your ammo. And they just kind of both tuck right inside this one bag and then create one convenient carrying case. And if for some reason you ran into a shitload of ammo, you could of course, um, you know, take those two smaller bags out and then load up the main bag uh, full of ammo as well. You can do whatever the hell you want to with them, not that they were designed that way. And then, and these bags are awesome. There's all of his bags are sort of sewn together in a way um, to where there's an inner layer, layer and an outer layer. So there's an outer tough layer to the bag, as well as this inner layer that is, I think has like um, moisture resistant or proof uh, properties to it. And, um, and it's just super well, well built. All the seams and sewing look great when you go inside and look deep inside of it. Uh, it just looks really good. The closer you look at it, the better sense of the quality you get from the stitching and sewing. And, and on that, as far as I know, at the time of this video, he's the one doing all the work. So his hands are actually touching all that material and uh, managing the product and shipping it out to you. I've been using this bag for a little bit and this piece of brass right here flying through the air was carried to the gun range in my Zulu Ops bag. Moving on to this other type of bag, wet or those dry bags you see often like in camping or hiking or something like that, or on a boat, it makes perfect sense on how it functions. It's got this really, really robust metal buckle on it, not plastic at all. So when you feel that, you get another sense of like, wow, this is, this is gonna last forever. Along with the stitching, and again, that same concept as far as the inner and outer bag. And um, I really kind of like these a lot. I bought this one for Jessica, for her nine millimeter stash. And I really like these bags a lot. Um, if you didn't like the three section bag that I showed you earlier, you could get two or three of these and uh, you would be able to haul your ammo around with some modularity and uh, keep them pretty safe and protected from moisture as well as sliding around in the back of your car in a traditional box. This next bag is kind of like a pencil bag. I don't, you know, I guess if you had some really nice pencils, you could put it in there, but it's built with the same quality, the inner and outer, zipper super strong, all the stitching is through the roof, the material is beautiful, and um, you could use this as like your rifle or gun kit cleaning bag, your gun cleaning bag. That would be perfect for that, or pretty much anything you want toiletry bag like I said if you wanted to use it for that that would that would probably work but it's sort of a whatever you want to use it for bag I think a, a gun cleaning kit would work really perfect in there this other strap is really cool it's a minimalist design he wasn't that excited about it when he was telling me about it I'm like no this is perfect because I have this CZ Scorpion so it's a pretty small light gun and I want to keep the strap pretty minimal but I want to be able to adjust the strap back and forth and lo and behold he had this strap as well as that little uh, velcro piece that goes on the back brace to strap to your arm 
for your um, pistols slash SBR sort of setup. This is a minimalist sling and it's called Keep It Stupid Simple on his website for a reason because it keeps it stupid simple while maintaining the ability to adjust the strap um, for different lengths on your particular firearm. Uh, it comes without any particular QD mounts or HK hooks or anything on it so you can put your own hardware on it so it keeps the cost down and it lets you basically use what you already have as far as a hardware to mount it to your particular weapon. This is a perfect or sling for the CZ Scorpion. Mine Scorpion is out right now at Coats of Anarchy getting uh, Cerakoted right now and I look forward to getting that back soon and I'm going to do a complete video on the process of sending your gun out to get Cerakoted with Coats of Anarchy and this um, simple sling is going to work perfect on the Scorpion. Believe it or not, the most common question I get on the gun channel is what sling is that on your Scorpion? I digress. And this next product, um, like I said, goes on the back of it, uh, like a brace for the back of your gun. So that Velcro strap you already have on there that looks like a basic bitch and you want to replace it because you want to look tactical as f Well, this is your move, right? So here it is, basic bitch and tactical. Booyah. So while you're in the cart, just throw that in there. I don't know the prices of any of this stuff, so you have to go on his website to see what those are. Handmade in America, special forces guy, donate to your local businesses, get it done. And then also I, I threw in this little belt loop device that has a hook on it that you can hook your, um, your gloves to. He uh, does have some swag on there as far as some cool hats and some patches and stickers. And oh, this is Mike right here. And this is what he looks like in real life. Trying to figure out what his trigger finger is for. Just kidding, Mike, don't beat me up. So that's about it for this video, I think. It's basically, I want to put this on your radar. Found this cool product that I kind of like, made in the USA by hand by a special forces guy. Check out his website if this is something you're in the market for. Again, he didn't pay me for this. Uh, didn't give me a, give me anything. He did give me a hat. Hmm. I don't know if that compromises my integrity or not. Probably not. So check that out. See if, uh, see if you like it. I love my products already. Jessica is using some of them as well and uh, they're holding up great and I expect them to, to last a lifetime. I'm a little backlogged on editing some videos for the channel, so stay tuned. I've got a few more videos coming up pretty soon. Uh, I've been traveling a lot this last couple of months, but uh, things should slow down here pretty soon. As always, if you'd like to donate to the channel, links below, PayPal, Venmo, shit like that. Check that out, donate some money if you have the means. If not, thanks for being here anyway. We love to have you. Shout out to evokestudio.io for supplying all the equipment needed to shoot these videos. I hope this video adds some value to your life. My name is Mike, you're at the Gun Channel. We'll see you back real soon. Thank you.